a disaster. You're joking. Next disappointment is the biggest one by far. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing okay. Got a slightly different setup for once. I'm not sure what it's going to look like on camera. We might need to change it up a bit. I did want lights on the wall behind me, but basically I bought the wrong ones. I thought they were going to like hang down, but they don't. So they're on the table at the moment. So yeah, I thought today I would bring you a fairly chunky ASOS haul. I did two orders, so I bought a couple things and then I decided there wasn't enough, so I bought a whole load more. But yeah, it's just full of like hot gore summer things, spring items and accessories, and I'm really, really happy with most of it. Some of it is a disaster, which you'll see, like, and I mean a disaster. But yeah, I just thought it'd be really nice. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like. Yeah, without further ado, let's crack on. The first item is these shoes. They're all around at the moment. They're kind of like the toe thong mule heels. That are really popular at the moment everyone's doing them in pastel colors bright colors and i love these like my boyfriend hates them he thinks they're really ugly they're kind of weird material i don't really know what they are they're like cottony i think it's cotton maybe so they're quite soft and squidgy but they look gorgeous on i'm so obsessed with them i need them in every color just like that they've got like a little thong at the front your toes yeah they're easy to walk in as well because look at the size of the heel they're like tiny so yeah this is by far a keep Next up, I've got this two-piece striped set here. So it comes with a shirt, which is kind of oversized. And it's got like a, um, it's got blue, white, and red pinstripes. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of oversized, but it's not too baggy. And it comes with matching shorts. But they're like boxer short style, so they've got some buttons at the front. It looks like pyjamas, and when I've worn it on Instagram and things like that, people do think it's pyjamas, which <laughs> isn't the best. But I am obsessed with it. I wear it with like a white crop and underneath where you can just wear it together. And it's perfect for summer for me. I absolutely adore it. They're really popular at the moment too. I just love this. I think it's really cozy. It's really easy to wear. It's really cute. You can wear it, you know, in the house or you can wear it out for lunch or out on the beach. So it's really versatile. And yeah, I just think it's really cute. Cover to my favorite thing. I also got this blue and white cloud jumper here, which I'm so excited about. It's not something I would wear often, but I just think it's really cute. Like, look how adorable that is. That's just the cutest thing. It's more for like me to wear around the house, you know, just like chill in or go run errands in. But I am honestly in love with it. I got an extra small because it's in the men's section. It definitely runs big though. So if you're like a medium and a woman, get a small. Do not get a medium because it is big. I do love it though, it's really thick, it's really nice. On the slightly more hot girl summer aspect, I got this mesh hot pink t-shirt. I love this, it's so flattering. Um, the kind of boob part here isn't mesh, so you don't have to like, it's not see-through. I just love it, it's kind of like mesh everywhere else, it's kind of really flattering. I got a medium and it is on the smaller side, especially if you've got like a larger chest, it's definitely something you need to size up in. I think a large for me would have probably been better, but it sold out as soon as I bought it. Next up on the accessories, I just got this kind of, it's like a baby pink, but it's coming across darker, I think, on camera. Shoulder bag. It's got like a zip, silver detailing, and then a small pocket inside. It's just really cute to go with like pastel outfits and things, because all my bags at the moment are black. And when I want, want to wear a cute like, pink outfit, the black just kind of ruins it for me. So I thought this was really cute. It's a really nice size. It's just a really cute addition to your wardrobe. Following on from that, I've got this As You kind of marble pink and purple dress. I fell in love with this on the website and I saw it on Instagram first and I absolutely loved it. I was quite disappointed when I got it. So the material is kind of cottony, I think. So it's not at all tight. For a bodycon dress, you, you want them to be tight. You want them to suck you in. And give you that shape and, and this just isn't it's kind of just hangs there and doesn't cling on to you which is I mean if you don't like things that are clingy to you and you don't want anything to cling to your stomach that's obviously a really good thing but for me I wanted it to give me a bit of a waist and it just doesn't it's also kind of see-through at the bottom which means if you're wearing dark colored pants it's going to show through especially if you're say in a bar with bright lighting it's going to show through so for me I wanted to love this, I, I really did, and I just don't, 
I could have sized down potentially, which might have solved the bagginess issue, but it's just not worth it for me, so I'm really disappointed with this one. The next disappointment is the biggest one by far, and I mean, it's disappointing. So this top here was meant to be orange, for one, and I really, really wanted this for like hot girl summer. Like I even got my nails done to match this top because I wanted to, I was going out the night I got it and I really, really wanted my nails to match and have like a, a bright orange, very like, I don't know, wear a tan, look like you're on holiday moment. And this came and honestly, <laughs> you'll see in the video. So this is meant to be orange, as I said, and it's come, and it, it is an orangey red, but it's red, it's bright red. It looks nothing like the picture. So in the top, I got a size 10, and in t-shirts, I'm usually around an eight. So I'm on the smaller size of a 10, if I do get a 10. This runs about five sizes too small, and that's not an exaggeration. It doesn't do up, it's just honestly the worst thing in the world. It's got corset detailing here, which could have been so nice, but this is just a massive, massive flop. Like I have never had something so ill-fitting before in my life. So this one is a hard no, stay away from it, never buy that, do not even try. Moving on to something a bit more positive, is this free people kind of gingham checkered dress here. It's got a halter neck and it's just like a blue colour and I'm in love with it. I got the dress in a US 6, which is a US 10. It's true to size. It's really good quality. I love free people stuff. It's quite expensive though, so I don't know if I can really justify the price. I'll see. But it is lovely. Like, I do love this. Like, it makes me want to go for a picnic. It's very spring. It's just really, really flattering. So this one is a hard, like, yes, if I can justify the price, which I'm not sure on yet. I then got this orange and creamy coloured polo top from Daisy Street. I've never heard of Daisy Street before I found this, but I think this is so cute. It's not going to be everyone's style, of course. But it's definitely very like I'm putting myself out there for spring and I love it. It's really flattering. It's like a thick material so you're not going to be cold. The buttons are something I'm not 100% keen on. They're these kind of like jewel buttons and yeah I'm not the most keen on those. I'm, I honestly might sew on some different buttons because they're a bit too much for me. But yeah, this is, I got it in a UK size 10. It's true to size, it's stretchy, so you could possibly size down as well. And this is just a win-win for me, I think. Goes really cutely with a pair of jeans. And yeah, I'm just really glad I bought that. It's something I wouldn't usually choose. So I'm definitely, definitely glad I got that. I've then got two dresses to finish up with. They're both kind of disappointing, if I'm honest. I got this dress from Nobody's Child. I got it in a size 10, and it's this really, really cute pink floral pattern and it's a, like a midi dress with a slit in it and it's very cottage core and I saw it on the website and fell in love and it then came not so in love if I'm honest it's quite big I probably should have sized down it's got some like shoulder paddy sleeves it would be really flattering if it fit me but it just it's way too big for me and what makes it worse is that so if you can see inside here the zip goes all the way down still going still going like all the way down to here so technically the zip should be down to here but for some reason i'm not sure if mine's just faulty that's all i can get the zip undone so it just doesn't you're joking i've tried for two days to get the zip undone i've genuinely tried to get I tried everything. I was going to email them saying it was broken. <laughs> Never mind. Um, so yeah, it's just too big for me. It does have a now I've realised open zip all the way down. So I would definitely size down in this and don't worry about getting it over your hips because it obviously can open. It's just way too big for me. If I tie it up at the back, you can create like an hourglass figure which is not the end of the world, like you can make it fit you as if you tie it really tightly, but the shoulders just fall off me. And yeah, it's just a bit too big for me. And last but not least, I've got this white sundress and I got it in a size UK 10. 
and again it's just a bit weird fitting so it looks like this it's really i don't know if it's focusing it's really pretty i think it'd be really really nice if you have a bikini under it and you're on holiday in the sun with a really good tan there's some like rope detailing on the back which tie up as well um so you can see that and the ropes come down here and you can tie them up but for me it just fits really weird on the chest area like there's loads poking out at the side which shouldn't be there but it does look a bit weird however i do think this could be really nice on holiday so it's not a solid no but it's just not good for what i wanted to use it for like i wanted to wear it out to lunch and things like that it's just not really suitable for that that's absolutely everything i'll be showing you today i did also buy two of these accidentally it's a sports bra from stradivarius i got it in a size medium for some reason i just pressed two when i checked out it's like this pink and green one but i've been wearing the other one as a top i'm not going to try it on at the moment because the other one's in the wash and i don't want to open this one because i'm sending it back but it is like it's a really really nice sports bra that you can wear as a top so i definitely definitely recommend this and i will be linking everything down below but other than that i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and i'll be super super grateful in addition to that i started a new instagram which i mentioned in my video before so if you want to give that a follow i will leave the link below Thank you all so much for your support. I hope you have a really, really great weekend. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.